we have just completed part C, time to move on and do part D, the income statement for our company. So again, part D says, based on the information above, prepare an income statement for the company. So uh, first we start with the name of the company, Intercity Roofing. name of the statement we are preparing an income statement and the date and we'll we'll assume it's a december 31st year end i don't think it's stated that anywhere okay so there we've got our three line title let's see yeah it doesn't really say what month or year we're dealing with so you can just write the current year whatever that happens to be when you're watching this so for the year ended december 31st uh so let's think about what belongs on an income statement i'm going to erase my highlighting here and well actually i gotta go all the way down don't i Oop, don't want to erase the zero um what belongs on an income statement is revenues and expenses. So I just want to highlight all of the revenue and expense accounts because that's what's going to go on our income statement. So I'm just going to go through our journal entries and look for revenues and expenses. First journal entry, debit, raw materials, credit, AP. There's no revenue or expenses there. Debit supplies, credit, AP. Nope. Supplies are an asset. AP is a liability. Debit WIP, credit raw materials, nope, nope, those are both assets. Debit OMOH, credit supplies, nope. Uh, debit WIP, debit OMOH, no, no. There we go. Debit and min salaries expense. It's got the word expense in it. That's a dead giveaway. Sales commissions expense and uh, sales salaries expense. Salaries and wages payable. That's a liability. Advertising. It's got the word expense. Rent expense. Depreciation expense. Accumulated depreciation is a contra asset account, not an expense. Insurance expense. Prepaid insurance is an asset. Going down. Sales revenue, there's a revenue. Cogs, cost of goods sold. Even though it doesn't have an expense, we need to know cost of goods sold is an expense. And in fact, Cogs gets debited again down here. So those are all of the items that are going to require, uh, or going to be required on our income statement. Uh, let's go ahead and prepare it. So let me just pull out a pen here. Um, so we'll start with our sales revenue. Our sales revenue was 800,000. Our cost of goods sold was 350, but we adjusted it. We debited it by 350 and then we debited it down here by 7700. 350 plus 7,700 is 357, 700. If we had credited it, we would just deduct the amount that we credited, but since we've debited it, we're gonna add that. So I don't know the math here. Four forty two three hundred. Sales minus cost of goods sold is gross profit. So our gross profit here is four forty two three hundred. We're going to have selling and administrative expenses. And our selling and admin expenses are here. All the things we've highlighted. Admin salary, sales salary, sales commissions. I think I remember them all. Admin salaries, I think, was 190. Uh, sales salaries, I think, was no, it was 30, not 60. And sales commissions was 90. Let's make sure 190, 30, and 90. Yep, I'm right. Advertising five grand, rent 4,800. Um, depreciation, 7,500, insurance, 1,500. Uh, 
Okay, so those are all of our operating expenses, our, our selling and admin expenses. I don't see any others. I'm just scrolling up to make sure I haven't missed any. Uh, I've dealt with sales and cost of goods sold. So yes, let's just total our uh, selling and admin expenses. Oh, that was 90, not 40. So I get 328,800 as my total selling and admin expenses. So that's the last of my expenses. Um, it doesn't say so in the question I'm working on. I think I'm going to change this to say assume a tax rate of 20%. So let's assume 20% taxes here and, and we'll do taxes as well. So we take our gross profit, deduct our selling and admin expenses. We get income before taxes. Our income from our operations here. 442,300 minus 328,800. I get 113,500. Income tax expense is 20% uh, of that. 22,700. So our net income, our profit for the year is going to be 113.5 minus 22.7. It's going to be 90,800. All right, we'll put a dollar sign at the top of each column and beside the bottom line of the statement, and we've got ourselves a properly prepared income statement for this data. I hope this video series has been helpful for you in understanding uh, job order costing, and I hope you'll stay tuned and watch some more of these videos. Bye for now.